Hey guys, uh, I'm here with a little thing. Uh, I was on YouTube and I was looking up Halloween Horror Nights 18 just to review the past and all that stuff. So that's what I love doing on my off time and everything. Um, what I found was very, very, very interesting. Uh, I actually got an email about it this morning because I'm part of the AJGenSpace.com. Uh, if you haven't heard of it, it's very cool. It's like a MySpace slash Facebook. It's got music. It's got uh, profile, it's got everything like that on it, and it's basically all about Halloween Horror Nights and people who love Halloween Horror Nights. Uh, so if you haven't joined, go ahead and go join. Uh, I might put a link down there for you guys, because it's not no longer over there, it's down there. But, uh, yeah, uh, I'll show it to you right here on the webcam if you want me to. Here we go. Can you see it? Let's see. And there we go. Okay. To prepare for Halloween Horror Nights is pretty much a 24 hour a day, seven day a week, 365 day a year job. We're always looking at new things in popular culture, new brands of horror, uh, the, what's going on in society to make sure that the event is current. It's a over a year process. Uh, most years uh, prior to the last two or three years, it usually was about a nine to 12 month process. We would start about a month after the event ends to review and kind of recap uh, all the successes of the previous year and use them as springboards to move forward. Uh, but the size and the amount of work that we have to create every year keeps growing. Uh, and that means that we have to start earlier. So actually this year and last year had almost been an 18 month process. The big difference this year is that we have reinvented Halloween Horror Nights. It's a singular experience. And the second you walk in the gate, whether you're in a street, scare zone, or haunted house, you're never outside of the event. The hardest thing, I think, is keeping every element of Halloween within the guest's imagination. It's all about when you enter our environment through scare zones or haunted houses or uh, come in contact with the characters, everything has to work together because if we misstep and it doesn't, we take you out of that fantasy world that the guests have come to you know, expect of Halloween. This is the largest Halloween event in the country. Um, you know, just from the amount of people that it takes to put it on, as well as people who attend. Halloween uh, is an immensely detailed product. Uh, I think the hardest thing to do is is to design every little ounce of what we do. Every haunted house, every scare zone, every character is unique. Uh, at the same time, everything has to be created from scratch. I feel like Halloween Horror Nights 18 is the most successful year we've ever had from initial concept all the way through production. Um, what we set out to do, we achieved, and it certainly seems to resonate with the guests. We're scaring the hell out of them. Oh, hey, Based on guest feedback we received from last year, the main thing they wanted more in the streets, more characters, more special effects, more scenery, and we put a huge design effort behind that. This year they'll find over 300 characters in the streets at any one time. I think the scariest character this year is probably our icon, uh, Bloody Mary, especially with the, the uh, performance that we've had for Traver. It's such a huge transformation from the sweet, you know, young face to this cut up, you know, demonic uh, character. A lot of the house designs really deal with a bunch of different elements. Uh, the main element is diversity. Um, you know, we know that everybody that comes to this event is scared and affected differently. I think uh, our houses were 100 percent successful. You know, from you know the environments of uh, the quick scare, the dark from uh, dead exposure to you know the fun you know horror 50 style uh, B movie s with the creatures and kind of the calculated drawn out and gory horror of body collectors. Every year at Bills, we've had uh, we've added um, hundreds of more characters in the park. Um, I know that the feedback from the guests has been much higher 
So I think all the effort that we've been into has been a really big success. Now we have the hard burden uh, for next year. How do we top that? How do we give you something new and just as exciting for next year? There we go. And that's how they do it. Let me see if I can see myself. Oh, all right, there we go. Yeah, that's how they do it. And yes, it is a 365-day process. It starts right after the current event opens, and they keep working on to make it the best. Uh, Universal, if you are watching this video, uh, you guys do a great job. I love your work. Uh, I really respect what you guys do. This is amazing stuff. Uh, I hope to work for you guys or be part of what you guys do for Halloween Horror Nights and help you bring that imagination to life and all that. Um, and that's basically all I have right now. Uh, if you guys want to go check it out with better audio and all that stuff, better picture and everything, uh, go look up Halloween Horror Nights 18 behind the scenes and it's on behind the studios webpage so just go check that out and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.